One of the rooms in the house is the wine cellar. Uh, this is a very important room to me. It's got a couple thousand bottles of wine in it, and uh, it's important to keep it below 60 degrees Fahrenheit and above 50% humidity. So it's alarmed. Uh, if the temperature goes above 60 degrees, I get an SMS on my mobile. Uh, this actually happened. I was uh, visiting Argonne National Laboratory last year, and just as I'm walking into the building, the mobile goes off. It's the wine cellar calling. Yeah, you know, it's, it says your you know, temperature has just breached the 60 degree Fahrenheit barrier. And unfortunately, my wife was away for two weeks on a holiday, and uh, I, I kept getting this. Every five minutes, I get a message saying your wine is warming up. I couldn't do anything about it. I got home, and it was 70 degrees in the wine cellar. So I called the Artrock guys, and I said, do you have an actuator that I can run remotely? And they said, yes, that's a weekend project to go put all that together. Then I thought, you know, this is cool because I can see the light levels. And so if somebody goes into the wine cellar when I'm not at home, I can tell that they went in, they've gone in there because the light went on. But I don't know what they did. So uh, somebody suggested, why don't you put an RFID chip on every bottle? And then you can do an instantaneous uh, inventory of the wine to see if anything has left the wine cellar without your permission. But one of my engineer friends debugged the design and said, you know, you could go into the wine cellar and drink the wine and leave the bottle. And so. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, we're going to have to put a sensor in the, co in the cork. <laughs> yeah, you know, if you're going to go to all that trouble, you might as well put a chemical sensor in to detect the state of the esters that make the wine taste the way it does, and then you interrogate the cork before you open the bottle. And, you know, if this is one of those bottles that got to 97 degrees when the, you know, cooling went off, you give that to somebody who doesn't know the difference.